Hello, so I'm going to be doing a quick demo of using PySpark on Kubernetes. This first demo is going to be in cluster mode. Uh, and cluster mode means that our driver program runs inside of our cluster. Um, so it runs in a container on, on the network. And this is the simpler option. Uh, and so let's go ahead and do that quickly. So uh, here we go. Um, I'm doing this from a compute node on um, Google Cloud. You don't have to use a compute node. Um, I'm just doing that because the internet here isn't very good uh, and, and I just found it a little easier. Uh, so here we go. Um, Let's go ahead and, and walk through what's required. So the first thing that we would need to do if we were doing this from scratch is we would need to build uh, our container images. And in that case, uh, there's a bin directory and it has this file called docker image tool. And if you just follow the instructions here, it will build the images. Now I pre-built the images and I did this in part because I'm using Google Cloud um, and because I'm using Google Cloud, I want to uh, be able to store things in GCS. And to do that, um, what I do is I first build that image, and then I build an image on top of it using this Docker file, which adds some extra jars. Um, and this actually means that it can talk to Google Cloud Storage and deserve. Now, you don't have to do this for all of your storage systems, right? If, for example, you were talking to um, Redshift or Cloud SQL or something and you wanted to use something else extra here, you wouldn't have to put it in the Docker file. You could use the packages uh, functionality. However, um, because we're using Google Cloud Storage sort of to bootstrap our, our mechanism, we can't do that here. Uh, and so then what I do is I do a Docker build and then I build it and then I do a docker push uh, or is it a docker push whatever I do a docker build and then I push it to my container registry and then I go ahead and I run spark submit and uh, what we can see here is I'm using a uh, local uh, kubernetes proxy um, so it's connected to my google cloud engine cluster my deploy mode is cluster I have this container image that we're using We've asked for two executors. We have a service account named Spark, and our application name is PyWordCount2. And this is our source code. Now, if you're used to doing this in Yarn, you might be wondering why I put this in Google Cloud Storage. And that's because in Yarn mode, um, this file would automatically get uploaded to HDFS, but since we don't have HDFS um, necessarily deployed in Kubernetes, we can't do that. So we instead copy our jar or our Python file into a cloud storage uh, solution so it can get pulled down. So if we just go ahead and run that now, uh, it'll kick off a job, um, except, oh, it looks like my, my authentication has expired. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get that authentication token set back up. Um, so I'm gonna go here. I've got, uh, yeah, so Kubernetes engine clusters uh hold in four so this is the one that i want to do and that'll connect me to the cluster so then we'll go ahead and run this here okay and then i'm going to do that kubectl proxy that i was talking about now we've got a local proxy again and if i run this command this time hopefully we're not going to get a 401 okay cool and so it kicked off um this job it's going to take a few minutes to to execute and i can Use this time to get a quick drink of water. While it's running. Now we, we could look at the logs while it's running, but I'm a little lazy and it finished pretty quickly. So, um, here we go. We can see we did a simple word count um, and that's, pretty much all we were really expecting for this one. So that's exciting. Uh, and join me in the next demo uh, where we'll look at client mode.